Hey folks, Krusty Old Marine here. Uh, today I'm going to do a kind of a combination. It's a review and a comparison. The review is going to be primarily on the Lyman 2500 Pro Magnum uh, dry tumbler. Um, I've also got a Lyman 1200 that's uh, pretty old. It's probably 20 years old. Uh, it was given to my son by his father-in-law. He used to do a lot of mid shooting, and he does a lot of cowboy action shooting as well. But uh, he gave my son two of them, and when we I broke uh, his reloading area apart to start building mine, uh, I didn't rob everything. I robbed some things that he didn't need to of because he, he doesn't reload a lot. Uh, so anyway, I took, I took the Lyman 1200, but I've uh, been using that a lot. Uh, been using it so much, in fact, that I decided to buy the 2500. Um, I'm not using it as my primary tumbler. Usually, I'm dry tumbling, that is. I'm still wet tumbling. And what I like about the wet tumbling versus the dry is I feel like it gets down inside the casing a lot better. But, you know, after I size and I want to get the wax off, I just throw them in the tum uh, dry tumbler and it does a really great job. So, uh, Got some video with the thing running and uh, how they work. Let me give you a real quick shot of uh, both of them and a modification. I put a lid on the 1200. It didn't have a lid. It's got a screen that you can dump it, but uh, without the lid, eh, it gets a little bit dusty, but uh, had to make the lid. But anyway, let me get a shot of those. So here's the Lyman 2500 Pro Magnum Tumbler. Um, I'm going to show you it running a bit in a minute. And uh, this is the older like i said it's it may be as old as 20 it's at least 10 years old but probably closer to 20. Uh, it's the lyman 1200 and made a lid for it out of uh just some stuff i got at the goodwill that little plate added the little rubber stopper and uh yeah it cuts down on the dust a whole lot so let's get to it see how both these things work how loud they are Well, let's see how this thing looks after running for two hours. Kind of show you all the lid that I made here. I just found this uh, lid at the carm store. It had to be the right size just to cover up the screen. So, let's see. Two hour run. Uh, we just refreshed the uh, cleaner with some flits. And I put uh, a few little dryer sheets in this time. So, let's see. Yeah. Looks pretty good. How's in? I don't know if the inside's quite as clean as if I wet tumbled. But, uh, we'll take a comparison here. So the one on the left is the brand new Nostler. I just, uh, I'm prepping all that right now, just uniform the primer pockets. And the one on the right right here is the once fired Nostler that just came out of the tumbler. So let me mix them up in my hand here a little bit and let you have a look on cleanliness. So which, which one do you think is the brand new one? Which do you think is the once fired? If you chose the one on the left as the once fired, you are wrong. That's the brand new Nostler. And so this is the once fired that just came out of the dry tumbler. Stuff looks great. Now I cleaned the primer pockets before I tumbled. And we'll take a look at them now. I can't really tell from that. I cleaned the primer pockets before I tumbled on the uh, RCBS brass prep. Um, that seems to seems to get them pretty daggum clean. And the fine walnut medium, uh, walnut shell medium, it doesn't really get hung up in there. I take a little bit of air and blow these things out before I put any powder in them. So, yeah, we'll take a look at that. That's the old uh, 1200 that uh, was given to me. Um, and this is the brand new Lyman. 2500 Pro Magnum. I'll do some of that and we'll do a little review on it and uh, do a little comparison, see how they turn out. Getting ready to uh, clean off some 
<clears throat> brass that I just sized yesterday. This is once fired. Uh, it's got the case wax on it. And we're going to set this thing up. <clears throat> the Lyman. <clears throat> the Lyman 2500 Pro Magnum. Uh, it's quite a bit bigger than the 1200. And they advertise that it holds 6 pounds of media. Um, got a 10 pound bag here that I got from PetSmart. And we'll treat that. And see how this 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 batch turns out. Put that out of there. I say to fill this up about three quarter of the way. I'm not sure how much that is. That looks uh that looks pretty good. Well, maybe a touch more. Yeah. <clears throat> that over here. I'm using the Flitz Media Tumbler Additive. They say on the new stuff, add about one ounce per pound. So uh, I should have roughly six. Uh, I should have roughly six pounds in there. So six ounces. Wow, that thing's a lot more quiet than the uh, 1200. May not be so quiet when I get the lid on, but <clears throat> we'll let that run for a minute. And uh, actually. Actually, since that's clumped up, I'm going to take this stick and get that cleaner broken up a little bit. Kind of looks like cat turds in there right now. Looks like a litter box. We'll break it up a little bit. Yeah, and that one's big enough. I'm going to have to keep the cats out of that so they don't come in here and use it for a litter box. I'm going to go grab some uh, dryer sheet to cut up. And uh, we'll throw this stuff in. We'll put about, yeah, about two thirds of a dryer sheet in there. Just cut some little strips. And they're sticking to that center cone where that flitz is still wet. Sticking to that. It'll get all mixed up though. So we're going to dump this in, um, I think that's roughly 200 rounds, 175 to 200, I don't, I don't remember. Got a little louder now. Let's get a shot down in there. Honestly, at the moment, I'm not impressed with how much it's vibrating. The 1200 did a lot better. And that's, that should not be too many rounds for that. Might be a little towards the limit, but should be okay. We'll let that run for a couple hours and take a look at it. So actually I only let this thing run for about an hour and a half. Let's take it out and see what this brass looks like. And remember this was just cleaning the uh, sizing wax off because I resized these. Let's take a look down there. Yeah. They feel nice. They're not all waxy. I believe it got it all off. 
and um, I'm going to dump this out, clean it up, and we'll compare it to we'll compare it to this other brass that we ran through the Lyman 1200. So this is the stuff that I just pulled out of the 2500 Pro Magnum uh, tumbler. Uh, that's the first batch. Um, it's not quite as clean as the stuff that I had done in this other use that I had done in the uh, Lyman 1200. But I just refreshed the uh, media ad additive in that one too. And this is compared to the brand new brass that I'm uh, prepping right now. So there's all three side by side. Um, I think on the Lyman 2500, uh, a couple things will help it. I need to put a little bit more media in it. And I need to put a little bit more media additive in it. Um, like I said, that was the first batch. It did pretty well, uh, but it's not quite up to the, what we did with the uh, 1200. And as you can see, the black one there, the 2500, it's quite a bit bigger than the 1200. Uh, the book, I was going to say it will hold at least 300 rounds of uh, uh, the 6.5 or 308. The book says it will hold 315 rounds or 315 cases of uh, 30-06. So pretty good guess on my part. Um, says the, the book says on the 1200 that it will hold 125 cases of uh, 30-06. And the 2500 will hold 1,000 pieces of 38 Special. Um, so it would easily do 1,000 pieces of 9mm, uh, maybe 1200. And the... Uh, 1200 model 1200 will do uh oh it says 350 pieces of nine millimeter or probably i don't know 450 500 of nine millimeter but anyway i've got two now i'm not going to give up wet tumbling um wet tumbling like i said it definitely gets the inside of the case cleaner uh so having that carbon gone completely gone from in there and not at all cutting into your case volume. I think that's gonna be a little bit more precision. But the dry media, it's great for just, you know, cleaning off the wax after you get through sizing. Little go-to there, the uh, 2500 Pro Magnum, it's got an on-off switch, 1200. The on-off switch is the plug. But that thing, you know, that is a lot older. Um, my son's father-in-law uh, used to shoot bench rest. He's a cowboy action shooter. He he gave us two of those when we uh, started reloading. and. Um, you know, it, it still works great. Uh, so I'm sure that thing's at least 10 years old and it's done thousands and thousands of rounds. So anyway, and if I didn't cover it before, that was 195 pieces uh, that I had in the uh, 5 and 1200 in that batch. Uh, it wasn't even close to full. So anyway, that's what we've got on the two tumblers, the uh, Lyman 2500 Pro Magnum Turbo Tumbler. And that uh, very old Lyman 1200, but I'd say the new Lyman 1200s work just as well. They're both great tumblers, and like I said, I'm really liking the dry tumbling for a lot of stuff now. I actually use it a little bit for uh, the entire process, but I don't think it gets the inside near as clean. I'm still going to wet tumble uh, for that. Anyway, don't forget to uh, hit that like and subscribe button and share the videos. And remember, kids, X's win matches. Keep the greasy side down. We'll catch you next time.